Hey there, we're going to take a look at the absolute basics of getting into um, looking at the GVG map uh, and figuring out what the heck is going on in there, okay? Um, so we're going to start by going to the GVG map in your um, icon set. It's the one in the lower right corner. And this is the whole map. We do have sectors in Iron Age. It's all that bright green that you're seeing in there. Um, we have a couple in uh, Industrial Age, but we primarily fight in HMA, so that's where we're going to head to the map on the left. All right, now yours may not open automatically with the log open. I tend to have it open all the time, so it was open when I came in. But to see the log of, of what activity is going on is that little paper and pencil in the lower left corner. Um, in your green shield, you're going to see all the things that our guild has done. So all the positive things, all the wins um, or, or neutral uh, actions that we've taken. So when we place a siege, it's noted there. Um, when we replace armies or fill uh, defense racks, it's noted there. Um, and in this cases, in these cases, it's three different wins on three different sectors um, that happened recently. This log refreshes pretty much whenever you refresh your login to to Parkog. So it doesn't. You won't always see everything that's gone on in like the last 24 hours. Sometimes you will. Um, and it gets filled up pretty quickly, so there's multiple pages. In the red shield, you'd be seeing anything that the enemy did. Um, so if they damaged our army or if they set siege, that would be posted there. And in the star, it's all the basics of the recent activity. So it's like kind of like a compressed version of, of some of those activities. Um, but here on the field itself, I'm going to go ahead and close that for the time being. We always want to suggest that if you're, if you're going to take part in fighting, Keep your chat open because we communicate entirely through our guild chat. It's the fastest way for us to give each other directives and, and updates on what the heck is going on, okay? Don't give any kind of fighting chat in global, all right? That would not be fun. All right, so um, let's take a look at what's going on here in the field. Um, there's a lot of commotion right now, uh, and it's important that you know who the friendlies are and who the enemies are. Uh, like I said, our land is green. So anything that's red belongs to somebody else. <laughs> All right, so um, our primary enemies right now are uh, Aris and Demeter, or Ares, I guess, Aris. <laughs> Poison Dagger up here on the right. All right, and they have a protection siege on their own headquarters. These larger buildings are the headquarters of their land, and they are much harder to beat. They have a higher percentage of protection boost. Um, and so they put a protection on their own headquarters so that we are not able to attack that headquarters until that protection is, is beaten off, okay? Um, the red shield means that they conquered that sector already and it is currently under protection until about 8 p.m. Eastern when the, the day's calculation gives them credit for that win. All right, so until then we can't do anything, it's theirs. All right, now these red shields are, are a combination of our protection sieges and potentially enemy sieges or attacks on our land. So these are where you have to kind of hover and figure out who exactly is it that is sieging. Now, in this case, it's under siege and it says that they're by El Guerrero and they are friendly. They are protecting our land by putting this siege. All right, so we would not attack them and we would not try to get that siege off. Um, over here, we have Glory Hole, which is our guild ghost um, so they're protecting that sector up there. Now, when you see gray, uh, gray shields or gray crossed swords, it's because uh, it's it's <laughs> it's not happening on our land, and it's happening uh, from another guild. So this is a piece of land owned by Legions of Glory, uh, being sieged on by one of our friendlies. Uh, so no, we would still not attack it. Uh, it's a good thing that they are hitting there because they are kind of uh, I, protecting and making it harder um, for Legions of Glory to defend themselves so that we could potentially take that sector. And that same thing goes over here. All right, now if you go into the sector itself, you can see how much damage has already been done. This is damage to the siege that's, that's protecting, right? Okay, in this case. And in the, uh, the top area, it's actually the armies that are defending that sector. And so you could see that they've already done quite a bit of damage to that army. Um, so, it, you know, no wonder they've got a protection siege on it. 
So this is a case where since natural born killers is not a friendly, we would want to kill off this siege whenever we can. Um, if they are actively online, they might be replacing that siege as quickly as they can. Uh, but our hope is to kill that siege so that we can continue to make damage to the actual defense racks that are waiting, okay? To take the sector, we have to, we have to complete 80 battles. We have to uh, successfully complete 80 battles. Now, if they, during that time, replace racks of, of troops on their side, uh, we would have to break those too. So we, uh, potentially we could be doing 100, 120 um, rounds of fighting before we successfully take a sector. All right, that'll sink in later when you <laughs> when you actually see it in action. Um, but there you go. We have red shields and cross swords. We have gray shields and cross swords. We have green shields and cross swords. As activity happens in each battle, you'll see little shields um, fly up from each of these um, sectors as, a, as kind of a, a notification of what's happening. But primarily, you can look in the, in the log to see what kind of progress is going on across the different sectors. All right. Uh, when you're calling to action, um, some help in defense or just alerting the guild that it's under siege or anything like that, you're going to need to know what sector you're talking about. So if you hover on any sector, up at the very top is the name of the sector and its coordinates. And it's those coordinates that we're going to need to know. So if we were going to go say, you know, call to arms for uh, for HMA, we'd have to let us know that it's for 1046, that we can jump right in and, and start hitting. All right. Um, I think that's about it. I've talked enough. All right. Have a good time.